performing our national anthem. That was Skylar Cole. And now we'll be back in just a moment. Welcome to 2K Sports. We have the NBA coming up. Great to have you with us. I'm Brian Anderson. With us tonight, two great basketball minds, Grant Hill and Steve Smith. Also, our reporter, Allie LaForce. As we get to just about the halfway point in our season, it's the perfect time to take a look at the Rookie of the Year race. Let's see which of these rookies have been the biggest boost to their team and gotten out ahead. He's had a pretty cold first season so far, but maybe he'll find his stride in the second half of the year and finish strong. And in terms of his development, he was hoping to be a little bit farther along at this stage of the season. It's always difficult when you come in with high expectations, but people progress at different rates. He just needs to stay focused on getting better every day. And we've got just enough time for a pregame report. Let's go over to the sidelines, where Allie LaForce is standing by. Allie? The NBA is creating international hoops academies. Commissioner Silver said, quote, historically we were more passive, but through Yao Ming, we were able to introduce hundreds of millions of people to the NBA. If we can help train other great players in these markets, it'll have a huge impact on our business. Brian? Yeah, smart move. Thanks, Alec. Here in the middle part of the season, Grant, what are the biggest challenges for players? Well, B.A., it's mental, physical, and emotional fatigue. Night in and night out, you have to stay focused. With the amount of games teams play, all those back-to-backs traveling across the country, bringing it every time out can be difficult. Now the starting group for the visitors. Yuta Watanabe out there with Clint Capella. Then there's Mitchell, and it's Ramsey in at the shooting guard. We've got R.J. Barrett, Nasir Little out there with Jackson. Then there's Bradley Beal, and it's Lewis in at the point. Mitchell with the ball. Pass to Ramsey. Screen by Capella. Shot clock at six. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. <laughs> Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. And he drops the first. And he makes the first, but misses the second. To the inside. Here's Lewis. Ooh, solid defense from Mitchell. The first thing I think of when watching Davion Mitchell is defense. Mitchell entered the league as one of the best on-the-ball defenders out there. Now here's Mitchell. Fires the three. Sinks it from distance. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. And no doubt, Davion Mitchell is an elite defensive guard. Why is that, Grant? Well, B.A., despite standing six feet, he's got a 6'5 wingspan. Mitchell is really strong and quick. But the biggest thing, Davion never takes a possession off. Pure from three-point range. He's got six. This is the shot you want to get him. An open look from range. 
Barrett passes to Jackson. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. And the first one at the line is good. And he makes both free throws. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone by. Outside Mitchell. Pass to Capella. The rebound by Jackson. Outside Barrett. And here's Jackson. Barrett passes to Beal. And there's the drive. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they will count the bucket. Well, at least the D was going for it, but he got to the ball just a moment late. About two minutes gone by in the first quarter. Outside Mitchell. Pass to Watanabe. Screen by Capella. Down low. Stolen by Jackson! Here's Lewis. Three-pointer. Here's Little. Oh, an amazing finish with a hand right in his face. That was a sturdy pick by Nazir Little, a guy that plays much bigger than he actually is. The Lakers have gone two of three from the floor. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. To the paint. Pass to Ramsey. Oh, rejected by Beal. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Beal. Five on the clock. Over to the left wing. Offensive rebound. You gotta love how Capella keeps possessions alive. Really nice effort right there. Beal outside. From behind the arc. And it's Watanabe with a rebound. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Right wing. Here's Ramsey. Nice D from Beal. Probably should have scored there. He usually does. And then Beal with the dunk. One of the most desired trade targets in the league. Seemingly every year, Beal is just a baller. Gone two for three from outside the arc. Pass to Ramsey. Now here's Mitchell. The D's right on him. Fades away. And that one's long. You expect him to make that, especially from that distance. Barrett is screen on Mitchell. Outside Barrett. The three knocks down the triple. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. The Lakers have gone three of eight so far. Outside Mitchell. Pass to Ramsey. Here's Watanabe. And the three off target. Gone one or two from three-point land so far. Outside Barrett. 
Here's Lewis. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. It's a two-point differential. Now Mitchell. Here's Ramsey. Back to Mitchell. Screen by Capella. Mitchell, the pass to Capella. Clock at four. Here's the three. And that one's good. Mitchell. Great awareness by Capella to recognize the breakdown defensively. And Clint Capella takes pride in his defense. He knows what he's on the floor for. He will never back down from a challenge and doesn't take plays off. Here's a look at some stats for Bradley Beal. And it appears that they've lost a little confidence in him this past month. They're calling less plays for him and letting other players take more shots. You can really tell by looking at his usage percentage. On defense, the visiting team. Here's Preston. Elbow shot on the way. Good. He hits the jumper. And with Capella in his defense, he's a vocal leader on that end of the floor, Grant. Well, he will hold guys accountable in the locker room. Capella knows it takes five committed players to play great defense, and he wants everyone on his team to buy in. Pass to Jackson. Six to shoot. And it's Little with a rebound. Gone five of nine from the floor. No good from outside. Gone three for five from deep so far in this matchup. Outside Jones. Jones sets a screen. Jackson outside. Outside Jones. The three is up. Can't hit it. He's 0 for 2 now. Gone 1 for 3 from beyond the arc. To the middle. Picked his pocket. It's tipped. Here's Preston. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. A remarkable defensive play. The replay showing once again the tenacity on that end. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. Outside Jones. To the right side. Inside. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. misses. Jackson, he's checked in for Preston. Can't hit the second. Gotten 50% of their shots to fall so far. They're 5 of 10. Jackson goes up and lays it in nice and easy. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. And that was the mobile one drive. 
no resistance to the finish line. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Jones with a screen on Jackson. Jackson outside. Shot clock at five. Pass to Hort. Oh, they need this. Nails it from beyond the arc. It's all knotted up. Where was the D there? No one was covering the open man. 29 seconds left to play in the first. The rebound by Jackson. Gone four of seven from three-point range here in the first. Outside Jones. Eleven seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. We're at the end of one in a close game so far. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. And getting it going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And from what we've seen here from the home team, what's your take so far? Well, I think it's pretty obvious they were well prepared defensively coming in. Yes, what they do, they take away the things that teams like to do offensively. Also, keeping them out of sync. You know, some have said those old school power forwards, guys like Charles Oakley, they're becoming outdated. Do you see that, Grant? Well, first of all, the physicality in the game is no more. The way Oakley would hit you and bruise you, you can't do that in today's game. And guys like Oakley are now playing the five position, and they're shooting three-pointers. So a lot of it just is because the game has changed and evolved since the 90s when Oakley dominated. Well, great skill level in the game right now. No question. And for the Lakers... And that one falls for Jackson. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Jones. And so he makes both from the line. Gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. On the wing, Mitchell. Ooh, great D on that shot. And it's off the mark. Shooting the rock well at 46%. Jackson outside. And he banks in the layup. And now, almost all their points coming from the paint. And for the Lakers, they're shooting around 33%. Not the best offensive efficiency. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Thanks, B.A. Bradley Beal played for Coach Greg Popovich with the U.S. national team. And Pop said, quote, he's hard to keep up with. His balance and movement are very impressive. He stops on a dime, can pull up and shoot. That, along with his excellent footwork, are the most impressive things for me. Brian? Yeah, great breakdown there, Allie. Thank you. Checked by Mitchell. To the inside. Capella with a rebound. And just about a minute and a half has passed here in the second quarter. Now Mitchell. Capella in the high post. The rebound by Jackson. Jackson's got six rebounds here tonight. Guarded by Capella. Capella with a rebound. Capella's got his fourth rebound in this one. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. 
Both teams deciding to change it up. Here's Watanabe looking for his first basket still in this one. Six on the shot clock from outside the arc. The rebound by Jackson. Jackson's got rebound number seven tonight. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. And he lobs it up. Beal finds Jackson. Here's Ramsey. Here in quarter two, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Tries to snap the cold streak. Kept alive. And Capella gets it to go. That's why they get Clint the ball right there. His teammates trust him to score in the paint. Here's Beal. And it's Watanabe with the rebound. The Lakers have gone one for six in the second quarter. Not great. Here's Mitchell. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Free throw is good for Mitchell. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Shooting 41% in this game. Deal with it. And Capella picks him up defensively. Pass to Preston. Down low. Here's Jackson. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Jackson's gotten four this quarter. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. The visitors with the ball. They've only given up six here in this quarter. Yeah, I think they'd like to forget that game. You usually want to find some teaching moments, but in this case, it might be best to just destroy the tape. Nothing wrong with that. Sometimes we overanalyze things. Can be better to just let it go. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. gotten just two of six field goals to go in the second. Jones, he's checked in for Mitchell. And now a glimpse of who's out ahead in the All-Star voting. I'm sure the fans and the players are eager for an update. You take a look at Beal. He's collecting plenty of votes and could break into the Western Conference's top ten. Yeah, I know he wants to climb the list a little bit, but no denying that those are all very talented guys up above him. And keep checking in for the latest in All-Star voting results. Here's Preston, defended by Jones. It's Beal on the wing. 11 feet out. And it's Watanabe with the rebound. Gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Outside Jones. Pass to Ramsey. Here's Watanabe. On the wing, Jones. Four on the clock. Here's Capella. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. Here's Little. 
Jackson, left side. Shot from 12. And that one hits the back iron. After having trailed for a while, they could retake the lead. Nice effort to battle back and put themselves in this position. Now here's Jones. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Here's Ramsey, hounded by Beal. Three-pointer. Nails it from three. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. Shooting 40% so far in this one. And here is Barrett. Passed a little. Out to Beal. The three ball. And it's Watanabe with the rebound. Watanabe's got four rebounds now. Outside Jones. Here's Watanabe. Capella with it. Stolen by Jackson. Here's Preston. Little. Hey, rejected by Capella. Here's Ramsey. Pass to Capella. And here's Jones. Just five on the clock. Here's Ramsey. Let's go with a three. The rebound by Jackson. Jackson's got nine rebounds now. There's a minute 34 left in the second quarter. To the middle. A shot to stop the drought. And a bucket by Beal. Beal's got six points. His position might be shooting guard, but Beal has no problems taking it inside. Both teams will make substitutions. Over the last month, these are the highest scoring teams in the NBA. This team has really found a great offensive rhythm lately. Running smart plays, sharing the ball, and racking up points. One twenty-five left in the first half of this game. Outside Jones. The rebound by Jackson. Jackson's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Jackson with a screen on Jones. Fires from the line. The rebound by Jackson. Trying to take advantage of soft defense. He might have gotten over eager. Pass to Jones. Here's Horde. Clock at six. And he makes a first. one goes in. Two from the line that time. Gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. 
Pass to Lewis. Here's Little. 26 seconds left in the first half. And they take the lead. Already five lead changes here. Speaks to how evenly matched these teams have been thus far. Outside Jones. They set the pick. Pass to Horde. To the left side wing. Fires from deep. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. Up by one. And we'll be right back after halftime to get the third quarter underway. Pleased to have you tune in. What better way to start than by checking out the contenders for the dunk contest on All-Star Weekend? Fun fact, Kenny was the first person to compete in the dunk contest and the three-point contest in the same year. You know, I don't like to brag, but that's what you call a total package. Hold on, Kenny, you could dunk. Wow, your feet don't even leave the floor when you jump now. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see your vertical then. Let's, I, I bet you can dunk right now. Whoa, that's some elevation. You look at their bench production, so valuable to have guys that can come in and contribute the way they have. Let's the starters catch their breath without doing any damage. I need to catch some breath right now. Why? There's someone we can bring on the bench for this broadcast. Oh, my gosh. And that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. We'll head back down to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the third quarter. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. Shooting 40% so far in this one. Jackson out there with Nasir Little. Then there's Bradley Beal. Then it's R.J. Barrett. And it's Lewis in at the one. That's the five to begin the second half for Steven Silas. Now here's Mitchell. He's covered closely. Pass to Ramsey. Takes the three. And it's Mitchell. The miss. Mitchell's gone just one for four so far. Here's Lewis. Checked by Mitchell. Now here's Beal. Six to shoot. Launches a three. And it's Watanabe with a rebound. Watanabe's got five rebounds in the game. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Pass to Capella. Outside Mitchell. Beyond the arc. Unable to get that one. And this game, folks, a close one here in Houston. 
They'll face the Jazz after this game. That'll be at home, and they'll be reaching the back half of a four-game home stretch. Here's Little. Barrett up top. And he jams it home with authority. Hey, when in doubt, run the defender off the screen. And you know, with a result like that, we'll see them run it again. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. Here's Ramsey. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Capella, screen on Beal. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Good man. The defender really went after him. First free throw is good. He's off on the second. Capella. Oh, that doesn't go on the chance to tie. Coming out stone cold here. Sometimes the break will do that to you. Here's Lewis. Checked by Mitchell. Jackson with a screen on Mitchell. And he lobs it up top. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Defended by Jackson. Outside Mitchell. Over Beal. And too long on the shot. Rough start to the third quarter, but give some credit to the defense they're facing. Launches it. Ramsey pulls it in. His inability to make shots has not brought this team down. That shows you their resourcefulness. Outside Mitchell. Pass to Watanabe. That would have put him up. Ah, scoreless in their first five attempts since halftime. It's getting ugly. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Beal, no good. Only one for four in this half. Sometimes it's execution. Sometimes the shots just don't go down. And it's Capella with the jam. You see the vertical. Clint Capella way above the rim with one or two hands. Got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. So both teams making some changes here. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. Tries a 10-footer. Kicks it out to Barrett. Jacks up a three. They get it again. Little. And another shot. Well, it was only a matter of time before they finally get the bucket. Seeing the floor much better. Little with an easy find right there. Offline with a baseline jumper. It's a shot you would think he would make, but he just doesn't make it all the time. Barrett with it. Five points in the game. 
six on the shot clock. Misses the step back jumper. Well, the Lakers shooting 27% in today's game. Not good. Pass to Mitchell. Defended by Jackson. Blocked! Here's Preston. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. Here's Little. Off target from three-point range. Outside Mitchell. For the lead! The rebound by Jackson. I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that get in his head. And his rhythm, it's been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he can just see the ball go in through the net, and that helps. Here's Preston. Takes it inside. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And he knocks down the first one. So it's both teams making substitutions here. So he makes one of two, and the second one misses. Got nothing to fall here in the third. 0 for 4. Pass to Jones. Here's Horde. He's got five. No! They're unable to get the tying basket there. You want to talk about ugly? This team is losing, partly because he hasn't drained a shot all night. And a strong finish with two hands. And that's why you don't give up on the glass. Man, his efforts, well rewarded right there. Working hard, beating everyone to the ball. He does this night in and night out. And checking the 2K leaderboard. These teams led the league in three-point percentage last year. Fourth, the Lakers. Just so efficient from downtown last season. The threes are a big part of this team's offensive game plan. Jackson down low. Off the mark, and the drought continues. Shooting a less than average 27% in the third quarter. Outside Barrett. To the paint. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. Give him eight points now. <laughs> They're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Jones sets a screen. The three-pointer off the mark. It's clear he's totally out of sync. The team needs to rethink its strategy around what to do with him. And count it. Now five for seven. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets here. That was another look at our Mobile One drive of the game just a moment ago. Yeah, and with a finish like that, you know he's looking to extend the lead and put this game out of reach. Now here's Jones. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Pass to Horde. Over Barrett. 
Can't hit from the elbow. And they just continue to dominate the boards. That free throw, no good. Lewis has checked in for Preston. He hits the second from the line. The Lakers shooting only 23% so far. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. There's Jackson with the three. It's rebounded by Barrett. Barrett's got five rebounds tonight. About three seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Lewis. The three is up. He drops it from range. And they're refusing to take a break, even with a nice lead. They just continue to attack. You have to love it. They've taken nothing for granted. You can see their plan the moment rather than the score. Jackson, the screen. Here's Capella. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Capella's got four points this quarter. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. Up 11. And time for a short break. Stay right there. The fourth quarter is coming up next. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. And so in the game for the Lakers, we've got Yuta Watanabe. He's out there with Clint Capella, and it's Mitchell in at the point. Pass to Watanabe. Back to Mitchell. Just five to shoot. Screen by Capella. And it's off from three-point range. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Now Beal. To the wing, right side. Here's Lewis. Off the mark there with a three. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. Here's Ramsey, hounded by Beal. Here's Mitchell. That one is off. They keep calling his number, which is partly how they've dug this hole. Pass to Lewis. Jackson, the screen. Beal's got room. Misses off the left iron. Sometimes it's just not your night. Fortunately, his teammates have picked up the slack. Here's Ramsey. Now Capella. Shoots over Jackson. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. About a minute and a half into the fourth now. Here's Lewis. Inside. Out to Beal. 4-3. Knocks it down from distance. Yeah, Beal is a real volume three-point shooter. The defense cannot afford to let him get hot from the arc. Outside Mitchell. Into the lane. Capella can't get it to go. Gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Here's Lewis. Pass to Jackson. Here's Little. From the arc. Capella with a rebound. Capella's got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. And here's Mitchell. Takes a three. Ramsey can't get it to go. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's a shot he typically makes. 
Jackson, the screen. Pass to Little. And he's going for the lob! Shot clock at six. Beal from outside. Capella with a rebound. Trying to shoot himself out of his slump. And it's not going well. Here's Ramsey. Pass to Capella. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. Oh, and Jackson with the defensive effort. Here's Lewis. Here's Beal. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. That one on Capella. I like when Beal looks to score inside because it forces the D to get physical with him. Free throw drops for Beal. And so he hits both. One thing I know players are happy about, the number of back-to-back -back games is way down from just a few years ago, Smitty. Yes, indeed, B.A. About a decade ago, about a quarter of a team's games were part of a back-to-back. -back. Now it's only about 15%. That's a change everyone likes, players, coaches, and broadcasters. Let's take a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Isaiah Jackson. Yeah, and it's not surprising. He's really going at the defense inside throughout the entire game. It's just showing the D no mercy whatsoever. They constantly were feeding him the ball, clearing out, and letting him do his thing. Wow, he really played phenomenal tonight. But we've almost come to expect that from him. He feeds off the energy from this crowd, and it certainly plays a part in elevating his game. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Pass to Ramsey. Capella with it. Got a piece of it. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Jackson. On Friday, they'll go up against Stephen Curry and the Utah Jazz. And then on Monday, the Milwaukee Bucks will come to town. The visitors with the ball. Looking to get on the board here in the fort still. Just three to shoot. Looking to end the drought. Here's Capella. And the slam dunk by Capella. It's a big night for Clint Capella so far. He's playing competitive ball and finding his shot. Gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Here's Lewis. Checked by Mitchell. Jackson outside. Beal from outside. That basket is good. Off the assist from Jackson. And that's his second triple of the game. Hadn't hit any in the first half. Maybe they made an adjustment at the break. Outside Mitchell. Pass to Capella. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. Can't get anything to go this period. Seems like he's hit a wall. Beal from outside. Connects from downtown. Beal's got 11 in the second half. Man, he has been locked in this quarter. Shouldering the load at the offensive end. Now here's Mitchell. Tightly guarded. Back to Watanabe. On the wing, Mitchell. Clock at six. Pass to Capella. Over Jackson. 
Again, the miss by Capella. I don't know how many shots he's missed this quarter, but they're going to have to find offense from someone else. Beal left side. Shot from 12. And he can't get that one. Going 0 for 3 here on the 4th. You know, for team owners, it often seems best not to take too active a role in basketball decisions. But, Grant, you're a team owner. How do you feel about this? Well, it's a tough situation, B.A. Many of these owners have made tremendous amounts of money building their fortunes, of course, being very hands-on with their business. But basketball is a different kind of business. Success is not always linear. And sometimes, as an owner, you're not an expert when it comes to this particular business. So it's interesting, kind of being engaged, but not being too hands-on and letting your people do their job to the best that they can. The first one falls. You know, this is part of the book on defending Capella. Teams often try to make him earn his points at the line. Jones, he's checked in for Mitchell. Capella hits them both. Gone three of six from downtown so far on the fourth. Beal outside. 11 feet out. Beal with another miss. The Lakers shooting a tough 22% from the field so far. Jones against Beal. Pass to Capella. The rebound by Jackson. Jackson's got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Minute 32 left in the fourth quarter here. Six to shoot. Pulls it in from the elbow. Beal shot is off. And we know the big markets draw free agents. As a player, how different can that experience be from the big city to the smaller market? Well, we know it's a big difference. Um, and obviously, there's been this old adage that big city wins more. But we've had some teams from smaller markets step up and win a championship like the Milwaukee Bucks. Now here's Barrett. Barrett. Tries it from 19. That one off the back iron and out. 44 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Over to the wing. Here's Ramsey, guarded by Barrett. Ramsey gets the bucket. Rock-solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. How about the unselfishness of this team? <laughs> yeah, the willingness to make the next pass has this defense scrambling. Now here's Beal. 14 feet away. It's a little on the wing. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Six on the shot clock. Down low. That one's in there on the nice assist from Beal. <laughs> this has to feel good. They gave their fans a show and secured the W. They're going to win by a nice margin. The effort was there all night. And so they get the victory here at home. They didn't have too many problems tonight. They didn't. Just a tremendous team effort. Once they had that big lead, they were not going to let the visitors back into the game. And that'll do it, folks. For Steve Smith, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for being with us. So long, everybody.